This video is sponsored by Y Food. Hang on a minute. Hannah, this is yours, right? Yeah. Uh, is this the five litre? It is. Um, give, give it a bit of a rev. Oh no. That is absolute. My hairdryer is louder than that. Okay, Hannah. We're gonna do a little test. So right here is a decibel meter. At the minute, I'm talking about 80 decibels. I'm quite a loud person. Hannah is gonna rev the Mustang and we're gonna see what it reads on the decibel meter. Um, and then we're gonna see whether we can fix that. <laughs> Nothing above 88 decibels there. <laughs> okay, but as always, where there's a problem, there's always a solution. And this is the solution. exhaust for my Mustang. Okay, so this should fix the noise problem. First things first though, we need to get the golf cart out of the ramp. I've got a feeling the battery's flat. Hannah? Yes! First try. Okay, so I don't have the best ramp for doing exhausting, but maybe if you guys hit the thumbs up button, one day we might be able to put one just here. Okay, let's get on to fitting it. Ready? Yes. So the stock exhaust is off. Does that mean it's time for a break? Yes, that means it's time for a Y food. So Y food is not a protein shake, it's not a diet drink, it's simply a meal replacement drink. So if you're on the go constantly, like myself, this drink is perfect for you. Now these shakes, which come in a variety of different flavors, have 500 calories full of vitamins and minerals. In fact, 26 vitamins and minerals to be precise. It's lactose free, it's gluten free, and there's no added sugar. And after one of these, you're gonna feel full for at least two to three hours afterwards. So it's a perfect, healthy meal replacement. So to get your taster pack today, which includes a variety of different flavors, click the link in the description box below and the banner appearing underneath me right now will help you out with a nice little discount code. Trust me, you're gonna feel a lot better for it. Right, I think we should start getting back on with the Mustang exhaust. Yeah, come on, give us a hand. Okay, so here is the old system and here is the Remus system. The old system, for some reason, Ford put a huge silencer right here and that's what I think is muffling the sound of the five liter V8. It then comes down into two big back boxes right there. Now the new system, the Remus one, has no silencer so that should release the sound of the V8 and then down into a lot smaller back boxes each side and then obviously some lovely chrome tips. Now before we start fitting the Remus exhaust, it would almost be illegal not to start the Mustang up as it is now. Just down pipes, catalytic converters, and then straight out into the open. This is gonna sound ridiculous. Are you ready for this? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be ridiculously loud. I've got the decibel reader at the go. It's, um, remember we ran 88 before. Let's do it. <laughs> oh my God. I think 
that read 114.5 decibels, but it sounded awful. Time to get Kevin back in here and then fit the Remus exhaust. So the Remus exhaust is now fitted. Hopefully that fixes the sound of the Mustang. Was it hard? Not really. Yeah, it wasn't actually too bad. So this is a Piper Cross panel filter. This should not only help with the sound, it also should help with a little bit of the power as well. Hannah? Yes. You ready to fit it? Yes. Have you fitted one before? Nope. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Wait, hold up. What? Is that a new hoodie? Oh. You're damn right, it's a new hoodie. It's black. Walk free. Liberty walked. And that says Maserati. And these are obviously available at mattarmstrong.co.uk. Now some of you might be asking, why does it say walk free? Why does it say Liberty Walk? Obviously this is paying homage to the Maserati Gran Turismo, which is hopefully going to be back next week, fully Liberty Walk. So if you're a fan of that, or if you're a fan of the channel, go grab yourself one of these hoodies. I think they look absolutely sweet. Nice, subtle little grey writing onto the black hoodie as well. They're sick. Go grab one in the description box below now. And just for reference, I'm wearing a large and I'm about five foot nine. Okay, pipe across panel filter. So the reason why I'm going for a panel filter as opposed to a full induction kit is because as you can see there's not much room around this engine bay. Going for like an open air induction kit, you're gonna get a lot of heat soak. When I mean heat soak, I mean heat from the engine around the air filter. By having a panel filter and putting it inside the box here, not only does this sort of increase the airflow, it also keeps the intake temperature down as well because we're still keeping it in the standard air box. So all of the air going in from here through there is still the same temperature because it's nice and enclosed. Science. Now with a naturally aspirated car like this one, every horsepower matters. So if, so if we're losing it because of heat soak, then we've got an issue. So that's why I want to keep the standard box. Right, moment of truth. It is the time. Is it going to pass the decibel score? Is it going to be any better? Cold start, Mustang, Remus exhaust, cat back, non res. Let's go. Okay, okay. I'm slightly underwhelmed at the minute. Bit of a rev. Oh. Yes. Go on, a bit more. That does sound sick. Happy with that? Very. <laughs> that is sounding so much better already. It's got a little rasp to it and a few little crackles as well and it's not even out of tune yet. To make this a fair test, we've got to take it outside and we've got to do the same test at the same spot and then obviously a few drive-by clips. So, let's take it outside. Okay, it is sounding better, don't you agree? I agree. <laughs> so, the final test. 
has it improved on the decibel reading? I think it's a little bit louder. It's, it could be louder. Raspy. Yeah, it's a bit raspy, isn't it? So I think we should give it a little check before <laughs> obviously a final burnout. So let's get the decibel reader out. Okay, 88 to beat. Let's do it. Yes! 107 decibels. That's you good. It. it actually sounds pretty sick. Okay, that's made a nice improvement to the car. There is room for it to go a little louder than that. So let me know in the comments section below if you want it to go louder. But if you've enjoyed this, make sure you whack that subscribe button before you leave. Now, I think it's time for Hannah to show us how to do a burnout. Send it.